Good morning guys, welcome to another West In video. Today I'm really excited. I'm going asp fishing with uh, Folkmar Stekos in uh, the Eisel in the north of Holland. Yes. And uh, I know that Folkmar has caught some of the biggest asp I've ever seen. He's actually caught two asp over 10 kilo. Yeah, correct. These yeah. fish are completely unique. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a rare occasion, but uh, yeah, we have a chance. Yeah, yeah. Especially there on are this. some huge uh, asp in this river. Yes. Of course, I'm not expecting to catch a 10 oh. kilo asp, but if I can catch a 5 kilo, it would be so fun. Yep. And just uh, the hard strike from the asp yeah. is something special. I don't know about you guys, but I am uh, really fascinated by the asp. I mean, it's a predator carp fish and they strike like a horse kick. So if you haven't tried asp fishing, I can recommend it. For me, it's an, a very exotic fish. I don't have any asp where I live, so I've only fished for them a couple of times in my, my whole life. So this is something I've dreamt about for a long time, to try asp fishing in Holland. And maybe we can catch a good one today, yeah. I hope so. Yeah, we will try hard. Yeah, definitely. be cool to see. We are actually fishing with the uh, Westin Swim. I have the 10 centimeter version and uh, Folkmar has the small six and a half and we'll see yeah. which one they like. Yes, yeah, ours can be really picky. So it, even one centimeter difference in lure size can make a huge difference. Yeah. Between uh, either catching or catching nothing. Yeah. It's, uh, so we have to find the right lure of the yes. day. Yeah. And at the moment, I suppose, they can yes, change, also. Yeah. change through the day. Yeah, these fish can swim up to 60 kilometers an hour. Crazy. So there's no way uh, you can uh, crank fast enough <laughs> <laughs> or too fast. <laughs> Even at these high speeds, you will get followers and uh, fish that uh, turn yeah. away at both sides sometimes. Yeah. yeah. And when you see them swim and uh, you are uh, cranking like a madman and they will swim just with ease. <laughs> It doesn't take any effort. Seems like the speed is attracting them also. Yes, yes. If you fish too sl too slow, they don't give a shit about the no. lure. No, it's uh, all about uh, triggering the reaction. Yeah. Because uh, being carp, they can be really picky, really difficult to catch. But then uh, the speed, it uh, yeah, it just uh, they have no time to decide. So it's either they grab it or they don't. Yeah. So uh, sunset and, uh, and dusk is, is a good uh, time for the asp, huh? yes, morning and yeah, evening. Yeah, definitely. The yeah. prime times. Yeah, it's the prime times. Uh, we're now quite late in the season. It's uh, now early October, first day of October actually. Uh, so now it also, can also be good during daytime, but uh, in the summer it's only at dusk and dawn. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, this asp. Is that? Big, uh, big swell over there. Oh, oh, yeah. Big ass, over 70. I catch him. Yeah. Yeah, fish. Ah. Cool, 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 cool. Nice strike. I yeah. imagine. Uh. Will you grab it by the tail? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's a good one. Seems like a good one, huh? Yeah. Was it the new uh, lure I gave you? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think second, uh, third cast. On yeah. a bass pipe. Yeah. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I haven't seen an asp in reality for 20 years. Yeah, well, I think you will uh, do in a few moments. <laughs> I hope so. They always put up a nice fight in the yeah, current. Strong, huh? Yeah. Very strong fish. That's oh, a good one, nice huh? One. Yeah. Good fish. He will grab it by the tail. Yeah, it's a bit like uh, salmon. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. We did that too when yeah. we fished for them. But then there were spawning time, so I was thinking maybe the two is slippery now. Yeah. That's a beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Look at that. Look, Look at, that. at that. That's uh, way over 70, I would say. I want to have a picture. Nice and fat. It uh, took on the bass bite, 
fast retrieve on a shallow, uh, shallow area, like uh, five meters in front of the boat. So you can imagine. Uh, it was a hard strike. It huh? was a hard strike coming in at uh, 60 kilometers an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, so that was a nice first fish of the day. Strike short clo closely to the boat. So uh, we'll take another drift and see what happens. They're here. Yep, fish. Whoa, whoa, it's a big, really big one, really big one. 80 plus, I think. My God. This is really big. You're on fire. One meter line out. <laughs> One meter line out and it took, I saw it take it. Oh my God. Whoa, 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 yeah, that's really big. Get the net. Yeah, yeah, get the net. I think this is, uh, this is eight kilo fish. <sighs> Oof, that's really big. This is the October fish. Uh, <laughs> it's starting we're now. We're looking huh? for, yeah, 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 they start now. We needed a little bit of light. That's like, uh, yeah, I think it's 82, 83, maybe. My God. We have something very special here. Not ready. Nope. You also see it's a different fight compared to the last yeah. one. Eh? The last one was way more uh, Heavy. side to side. Not yet. Nope. And they can see really well, so you always uh, the netting is always a bit tricky. Oh. Go down again. That's really big. That's a monster. Congrats. <laughs> That's a monster. I think it's best to leave him in the water and then we can grab him. I think I will do a few casts, is that okay? <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely do. Because <laughs> I go crazy now. So this is uh, what we come for, for. This is a really big asp. Old fish. You see it uh, especially by the, by the head. When they go, grow older, the eyes tend to move a little bit towards the front of the head. So it's uh, really, uh, really funny to see all, all the time. So, uh, yeah. I love their uh, yeah this yeah it's really a mouth like a like a bucket they can uh, easily suck in their prey so we'll uh, take measurement on it now I think it's about 80 might have looked a little bit bigger in the water than it is it's 79 is it touching yeah yeah 79 that's a beautiful fish yeah that's a beautiful old fish. Okay, so it's time to release her. Don't spend too much time in the boat uh, with these old asps because uh, yeah, they need to be back in the water quite quickly. So that's it. Super. What a fish. What a fish, yeah. And now it's time for you to catch one. <laughs> so uh, I think we found a trick for this morning. Small bass bite on the, the W6 finesse rod. And uh, we quickly go back because the morning bite is often short, but uh, very, uh, very attractive. So uh, let's see if Jurgen can catch one now. I hope, I hope, I hope. And you never know, it can happen that we only catch this size uh, for the entire day. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you have those days that you only catch the big fish, especially with this uh, type of weather. Nice, nice, nice. Looks good. Strong one. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm too nervous. <laughs> <laughs> they seem to be on fire at the moment. Oh my god. Yeah, it's another. Oh, that's another big one. <laughs> oh, that's another big one. She'll get the net.
We're using the W6 finesse shad rods, uh, 10 to 28 grams, and I would say they're absolutely perfect for this kind of fishing. Yeah, they have the backbone to, uh, to uh, keep the fight a little bit uh, within time. Yeah. And the finesse to uh, work these little crankbaits. You tell me if I'm uh, pushing it too hard. No, it's, uh, it's fine. Yeah. It's a big one. It's uh, not a really big one. <laughs> it's, uh, this is uh, six kilo, I think. They are strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are strong. Especially the last bit uh, close He's, to the uh, boat. <laughs> completely inhaled the yeah, lure. Yeah, yeah. They really want this lure. That's for sure. Get Look his head at the up. lure completely. Yeah, in the it's mouth. completely gone. Uh -huh. Oh, this is a really heavy one, uh, Jurgen. I think. Uh, yes. <laughs> I think you met your goal. <laughs> First fish. Look at this. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> one happy it's guy. Gone. If you can hold uh, the back of the net, maybe yeah. then. Uh, oh my god. Ooh, it might be even bigger than the last one, uh, Jurgen. Oop. Still Looks some power. quite quite wide, huh? Yeah, it's wide. Gonna wait quickly and just check the weight, yeah. and then later we will take away the weight from the weight from the net. Yes, just to get a quick weight. I'm reading it's over six, close to seven kilos. Six point six point seven kilos with the net. With the net. Yeah. yeah. Today is my birthday. I'm 55 today. I'm getting old. And I only had one wish for my birthday, and that was to catch a big asp. Now everything is bonus. Now I'm happy now. This is the present I wanted. A fantastic asp. My day is complete. I don't need anything more today. This was the best birthday present I could get. Very happy, very happy with this fish. I've had this dream for many years to catch a good aspen. Finally, I got the chance. So, thank you. Thank you, Wolfman. <laughs> Pleasure. About 800 grams we have to take off. So the fish was six, nine. Yes. So six, six one. Yeah, six yeah, six kilo six one. Yeah. So uh, job done. <laughs> wow. Now we've uh, taken away the weight of the landing net. Uh, the fish was eighty centimeter exactly and uh, six point one kilo. So one happy guy. One happy guy. Dream fish. That's when you fish for them in uh, June. It's almost impossible to catch them. Because the, the, the fry. Oh! Another one! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when I stop cranking. <laughs> it's great. Every time we pass this spot, there's a fish. My God. And it's another big one. It's another good one. <laughs> That's taking some line again. It's really on fire now. Oof, and not a giant. <laughs> Completely swallowed the lure. Ooh, that's really big. You want the uh, net? Yeah, I think it's uh, bigger than the last ones. I think it's the biggest of the day. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's giant. I stopped cranking and on the pause it just completely uh, swallowed it. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, look at that one. The day of the giants. <laughs> Colossal. God, look at the mouth. Yeah, it's a tarpon. Quickly make a shot. <laughs> really, really, really big fish. <laughs> Must be the biggest of today. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. very wide. Oh! <laughs> Come on! He just landed his. Uh, Folkman just landed his fish, and I got another strike. 
Ah, it's a good one, this one also. Yeah, I think it's impossible to catch a small one here at the moment. Seems like the big ones are gathered yeah. here. I'll really quickly measure it because it was badly hooked. Yeah, needs to go back quickly. Yeah. Yeah. It's another 80 fish. Yeah. By the, by the millimeter. <laughs> crazy, crazy. I think we tried to get, get that one back. So. Yeah, because it's bleeding heavily. So, another 80 fish, old one. But it uh, was a little bit badly hooked, so we'll quickly release it and don't take the double shot. Because the health of the fish is more important. Yeah. Look at exactly. the girth on this fish. It's so wide, that yeah. one. That was the, he the heaviest fish today. Yeah, I think this is I 7 would, kilos. I would say. But it's gone. Here's nice. another one you can land. Uh, yeah, let me. me uh, <laughs> a small guy. It's a little guy. Little it's only 70. Yeah, it's only 72, 74. It's quite long, actually. Yeah. It's not, not as wide, but... Not a beautiful fish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> working out well. Okay, let's put her on the measuring board. Because I saw she was really close to, you see, 79 and a half. Bloody hell. <laughs> Bloody hell. They're all the same length, uh, class. This fishing is crazy today. The big asp are really on fire. Yeah. Five, six fish? Uh, no, we already had four. Yeah, six. Six, six. fish, and yeah. the smallest is? 72. <laughs> Bloody hell. And it's the only one under uh, 78. <laughs> it's crazy. My dream is coming true. Crazy asp fishing. It's asp mania today. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> well, what can it's we say? It's crazy, yeah? It's, it's crazy. Uh, 10 before 9. Yeah. <laughs> Feels good when we have a perfect equipment for this fishing. Uh, I was thinking before I go what rod to use, but uh, after talking to Folkmar, I decided to bring the W6 in a shed, 10 to 28 gram, and they are spot on for this fishing. And uh, it seems like they go mad for the bass bite. It's so stable in the water, we can fish it in very, very high speed, and, and that's uh, what's get them going. They like the high speed that triggers them to, to bite, get the reaction strikes from them. And we had several who yes, completely, completely swallowed, swallowed the lure, yeah. so they really, really want the best bite. Yeah. We started with swim, but it seems like the, the crankbait is doing the job better. They like these uh, vibrations yes. and maybe the sound also. Yeah, and a little bit deeper maybe because there's not so much light. Yeah. yeah. They really hammer the hammer the, the best bite, so it's cool. Yeah, it's difficult to make five casts at the moment. Yeah, it's been <laughs> Which is uh, a luxury problem. <laughs> on fire since we started <laughs> yeah. using that uh, that lure. Yeah. Uh, crazy. Enjoy it while you can because it can stop any second. So it's time to release this beast. Another old fish, 78 and a half. Yeah, 78 and a half. Yeah. Quickly put her back. Yeah, there it goes. Perfect. <laughs> I had uh, over 35 fish on top water. Oh my god. And this was one of the last I got. That, uh, that. Yeah. Another one. This is crazy. If, if when you cross this buoy and we are uh, 20 meters behind it, you will definitely get a bite. It's crazy. And needless to say, it's a big one. <laughs> That's another one. Oh, the strikes are uh, addictive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, They're yeah. addictive. It's, uh, I think it's the closest you can get to tropical fishing. Yeah, <laughs> it's the freshwater <laughs> top one. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? 75, something like yeah, that? Yeah, 74, 75. Got some old scars. Yes, 
It's an, uh, Maybe from a catfish or something. Yeah, it could be. It uh, looks like an old warrior. Yeah. Also with the, the rubbery lip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, it's uh, quite uh, scratchy. We put her back, yeah? yeah. So what happens sometimes uh, during the day, you, you, they hunt shallow in the, in the morning and yes. then they go deeper. Yeah. So you have to fish with the uh, crankbaits. Yeah, uh, deep diving crankbaits. Diving. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sometimes uh, even uh, around four and a half, five meters. Wow. And um, it's also, th this spot is really shallow. So the focus for this spot is early morning. Yeah. Uh, it can also happen that you stop catching them casting, but when you go speed trolling even faster that they will strike again because they have learned in the meanwhile. <laughs> Being carp, they learn quite fast. Yeah. Um, but there's many, many different spots we can try uh, today. And uh, usually later in the day, uh, they will go uh, deeper, like three, four meters. And then at, well, yeah, when the sun starts to, uh, to drop again, then they will come up again and then these kind of shallow spots will be better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like they have short bite windows, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, like we witnessed this morning. And then they can just switch off and you can make 50 casts in a spot where there's 100 asp and you won't get a single bite. And then the same lure can work again for 20 minutes. All of a sudden, it's uh, yeah, it's a really strange fish. They switch on and off and there's nothing in between, it seems. As I've said before, uh, we're using the W6 Finesse Chad Rod, the 10 to 28 gram uh, version. And it's been perfect for this asp fishing. And we combine it with a spinning reel and a braid, 1.14, 1.15 millimeter, and a fluorocarbon leader of 0.35, 0.40 millimeter, and a strong clip. What's important for this fishing is the reel with, with a high speed. Folkma has a size 4000 reel yep. with a really high gear ratio, and that's perfect for this fishing. I have to wind like a madman. I have a size 3000 reel. It works, but it's even easier if you have a bigger reel with a high gear ratio, just to keep the speed on the lure, because the speed is the key to success. So the right equipment is also important when you do asp fishing. What a crazy <laughs> strike, my God, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. This is insane. <laughs> now you're awake again. <laughs> I sure am. It's like an explosion. <laughs> when you're trolling in this speed and you get a take from an asp, yeah. bloody hell, it's violent. We're fishing with a, with a clutch uh, almost as loose as we can. We have to have the finger on the spool to, uh, so the line is not going out. Yeah. And when you get a strike, my god, it's a spectacular take huh? when you do speed trolling. Yeah, it's a big one again. The bass bite is killing it today. Yes, yes definitely. Oof. <laughs> it's a heavy one. A much darker color. Yeah, I can see that. Really dark. I think 80 plus uh, again. Uh. I think so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh yeah. I'm not good uh, in estimating them. Nope, watch out. Very heavy head shakes on yeah, this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, It's always a good sign. The top on is yeah. coming. <laughs> another big, down. Another big one. Boat. Beautiful fish. <laughs> another beautiful asp. Actually, this is the smallest one we've caught today. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And it's a heavy one because yeah. it's, it's fat, but it's not so long. What was it? 70? 72. Two. Yeah. Seven. It's, it's another really wide back. Very wide fish. So 
it's heavy for its weight, yeah. uh, heavy for its length. Yes. But it feels stupid to say it's the smallest one <laughs> we've caught today. Yeah. Fish number 12. Spe 13. 13. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, fish number 13. We're gonna let her go now. Yeah. It was a cool experience to get a strike on, uh, on the speed trolling. Beautiful fish, very wide across its back. Goodbye. <laughs> After the crazy feeding period we had this morning, uh, the fishing slowed down. We tried a couple of spots, but we decided to do some speed trolling to search and uh, see if we can uh, present the lures even faster to get the uh, reaction strikes. And uh, this was the second take. I yes. mean, you lost yeah, uh, the I first lost one. one. Yeah. So that can be a really good method to and tease them to, to strike when, when you present the lure so fast. Yeah. And it was definitely a cool experience to, to hold the rod when you get the strike in that speed. Crazy, yeah. crazy. We were driving 8.89 kilometers an hour against the current. The current is 2 kilometers an hour, so uh, in the water the, the lure is running at 11 kilometers per hour. Oh. And uh, yeah, just to get a, a five, six, seven kilo fish hit. If someone smash you in yeah, the head yeah. with a brick or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's uh, really oh, it's good fun. very cool. Yeah. <laughs> very cool. Well, since it's my birthday, I brought a little treat for us, Volkmar. Yeah, looks good. There is a cake for you. That's very nice. To celebrate the birthday and the big asp at the same it's, time. It's uh, <laughs> been a fantastic day today. Yes. I mean, uh, We've caught almost 20, 20 yeah, asp yeah. and a large amount of uh, big ones. Yes, specimen sizes. Yeah. We had a, found a group of small ones uh, yeah. before, but in the morning it was only big fish. Yeah. Yeah. 70, 80 centimeters, yeah. 80, over 80, it's crazy. Yeah, three fish over 80 centimeters, that's, uh, that's a rarity. Yeah, that's, that's insane. Uh, yeah. Extremely big fish. Yeah. So I think it's worth celebrating. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> Thanks for today. Yeah? yeah, it was a pleasure having you on board. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so we can produce more films in the future. And you're most welcome to ask questions if you like that. Ciao. Thank you for today. Bye bye. So the cameraman also took a chance. Jürgen is uh, sending back a big one, but this is ridiculous. 85 centimeters, it took him five minutes. <laughs> I needed to try some <laughs> few cuts, I couldn't hold myself. But <laughs> a PB for life, crazy. Yeah, it must be over eight kilos. Yeah, <laughs> insane. And we already told to each other, make a few casts and uh, you, you always see he will catch the biggest one. <laughs> it's, it's very often like that. Yeah. <laughs> now you are the, the fourth person in my boat that catches a bigger PB in length than myself. <laughs> This is the first pass I ever get in my life. <laughs> and you're done for the rest of your life. You never have to catch an ass no, anymore. No, 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 no. <laughs> Thank you.